This week on Granite State Challenge, Londonderry High School takes on Portsmouth High School. Only one team will advance. Granite State Challenge starts now. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, Cognia, and viewers like you. Thank you. Get ready. It's time for New Hampshire high schools to match wits in a high-stakes scholastic showdown. It's time for Granite State Challenge. Here's your host, John Cannon. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us this week on Granite State Challenge. We have our second semifinal match lined up for this, our 40th season. We're really excited about it. These two teams have worked their way to this point, but only one of them is going to make it to the finals. Let's introduce them to you. First up, we have the team from Londonderry High School. They are led by senior captain Austin. Austin is joined by sophomore Nathan, sophomore Brendan, and sophomore Xander. And their team is coached by Peter Willis. And facing them in this semifinal match is the team from Portsmouth High School. They're led by senior captain Francis. Francis is joined by senior Rio, junior Nick, and senior Josie. Their alternate is senior Karina, and they're coached by Hannah Duell. Those are our teams, but of course, we always like to introduce you to our judge. Back with us again is Ann Belanger. All right, team's introductions are out of the way. Go ahead and grab those signaling devices because we're going to play the game. And as you know, we play in four rounds, and in round one, we do 10 point toss up questions. So, Londonderry and Portsmouth, good luck, and here we go. If you place third in an Olympic event, what kind of medal do you receive? Austin of Londonderry? Bronze. That's right. This dance, which was popular in the 1920s, is named for a coastal city in South Carolina. Francis of Portsmouth. Charleston. That's right. What punctuation mark should you use to separate two independent clauses in a sentence? Austin of Londonderry. Semicolon. That's right. Once known as Siam, this Asian country is bordered by Myanmar, Laos, Cambodia, and Malaysia. Rio of Portsmouth. Thailand. Correct. This Belgian surrealist artist's 1964 painting, Son of Man, features a man in an overcoat, red tie, and bowler hat with a large apple covering his face. That was René Magritte. In the Star Wars universe, these short furry bipeds live on the forest moon of Endor. Francis of Portsmouth. Ewoks. Yes. Teams, where will you find the Sea of Tranquility? Austin of Londonderry. The moon. That's right. With the exception of viruses, what is the basic unit of living matter in all organisms? Austin of Londonderry. Cells. Yes. This 1883 eruption in this caldera in the Sunda Strait between Java and Sumatra in Indonesia was so loud that it was heard almost 2,000 miles away in Perth, Australia. Francis of Portsmouth. Krakatoa. Correct. What do you call it in tennis when the ball skims the top of the net and lands in the service area during a serve? Francis of Portsmouth. Let. That is right. What Korean side dish is made with salted and fermented vegetables like cabbage and seasonings like onions, garlic, and ginger? Josie of Portsmouth. Kimchi. That's right. These even-toed ungulates come with one hump or two. Austin of Londonderry? Camel. Yes. This city in Grafton County, New Hampshire, which shares its name with a country in the Middle East, was actually named for a town in Connecticut. Francis of Portsmouth. Lebanon. Yes. The invention of writing led to the eventual end of this period around 4,000 years ago. Francis of Portsmouth. Prehistory. That's correct. The 22nd Amendment, ratified on February 27, 1951, limits presidents to two terms in office. Who was the only president elected to more than two terms? Josie of Portsmouth. FDR. Yes, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. 
George Gershwin and Ira Gershwin wrote the jazz standard, I've Got Rhythm, in 1930. The song was performed by Ethel Merman in the musical, in the musical Girl Crazy. Spell rhythm. Francis of Portsmouth. R-H-Y-T-H-M. That's correct. This French aristocrat fought in the American Revolutionary War and commanded troops in several battles, including the Battle of Yorktown. Nick of Portsmouth. Lafayette. Marquis de Lafayette. This novelist and short story writer is identified with the Jazz Age and wrote the novel The Great Gatsby. Francis of Portsmouth. F. Scott Fitzgerald. Correct. This singer and actress starred in the 1992 movie The Bodyguard with Kevin Costner and recorded a cover of the Dolly Parton song I Will Always Love You for the movie soundtrack. Francis of Portsmouth. Whitney Houston. Yes. This black track and field athlete won gold medals in the 1936 Olympics in Berlin, Germany. In the 100 meter and 200 meter race, the 4x100 meter relay, and the long jump, leaving Hitler's belief in Aryan superiority in the dust. Josie of Portsmouth. Jesse Owens. Correct. This author's 1851 novel, Moby Dick, was based on the real story of Mocha Dick, a sperm whale that reportedly wrecked seven ships and killed at least 30 men. Josie of Portsmouth. Herman Melville. Yes. All right, teams, we have reached our picture question, so go ahead and take a look at your monitors. You are looking at an 1851 painting by Emanuel Lutz of Washington crossing the Delaware. Possibly pictured in the painting is this slave, who was a soldier in the Revolutionary War and later freed by General William Whipple of Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Francis of Portsmouth. Prince Whipple. Prince Whipple is right. This tennis player was the first black man to win a singles title at Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, and the Australian Open. Francis of Portsmouth. Arthur Ashe. Correct. The Treaty of Friendship, Cooperation, and Mutual Assistance, signed by Soviet-aligned countries in Poland, was a response to NATO and is more commonly known by this name. Rio of Portsmouth. Warsaw Pact. Correct. Feta cheese is a curdy cheese made from the milk of sheep and goats and has its origins in this country. Francis of Portsmouth. Italy. Sorry, no. Londonderry. Austin. Greece. That is right. This Canadian author's dystopian novel, The Handmaiden's Tale, was published in 1985. Josie of Portsmouth. Margaret Atwood. Correct. Teams, what is the very last stage of the life cycle of all living things? Francis of Portsmouth. Death. That's right. This amendment adopted in 1971 gave 18 year olds the right to vote. Francis of Portsmouth. 26th Amendment. That's right. This actor and stand-up comedian played clean-cut dad Danny Tanner on the TV family sitcom Full House. His stand-up routine wasn't quite as clean-cut. Nathan of Londonderry. Bob Saget. That's right. Teams, you will find Crater Lake, the deepest lake in the United States, in this state. Austin of Londonderry. Washington. Sorry, no. Portsmouth. Francis. Oregon. Oregon is right. John F. Kennedy was the youngest person elected president at age 43. Who is the oldest person to be elected president? Francis of Portsmouth. Joe Biden. That's correct, at age 78. Most of the U.S. gold reserve is in the United States Bullion Depository, which is next to the United States Army Post Fort Knox. In what state is the United States Bullion Depository? Francis of Portsmouth. Kentucky. That's right. All right, teams, our next question is our Unitil Power question. It's worth double the points, so this is a 20-point toss-up coming to you on your monitors. Take a look. This Canadian singer-songwriter is perhaps best known for the song Hallelujah, but is also known for the 1968 song Bird on a Wire. And those were by Leonard Cohen. Teams, what U.S. state is named after a French king? Francis of Portsmouth. Louisiana. That is right. This former Beatle, with his band Wings, wrote and performed the song Live and Let Die for a 1973 James Bond movie 
of the same name. Austin of Londonderry. McCartney. Paul McCartney is correct. That sound ends round one. A strong round one from Portsmouth out to a lead. All right, good job teams, keep it up. Uh, but don't get your heads down, Londonderry, because in round two we do 20 point toss up questions. So we're going to double the point value and a lot can change. So Londonderry and Portsmouth, round two, here we go. Captain John Yosarian is the protagonist in this author's 1961 satirical novel, Catch-22. Austin of Londonderry. Yeller. Say it again. Heller. Heller is correct. The last naturally occurring case of this disease, which killed countless millions of people worldwide and left others badly scarred, was recorded in October of 1977. Nick of Portsmouth. Smallpox. That's right. In the Northern Hemisphere, we can sometimes see the Aurora Borealis. What can they see in the Southern Hemisphere? Austin of Londonderry. Aurora Australis. Correct. This city is home to Vanderbilt University, the Grand Ole Opry, and the Country Music Hall of Fame. Francis of Portsmouth. Nashville. Correct. All right, teams, we've come to our 40 for 40 question to celebrate our 40th season. This question is worth 40 points, and it comes from season 25. In which New York City borough would you find center field plaques to Do Joe DiMaggio and Mickey Mantle? Francis of Portsmouth. The Bronx. The Bronx is correct. This biblical judge is betrayed by his lover Delilah, who cuts his hair while he is sleeping, sapping him of his strength. Nick of Portsmouth. Samson. Samson is right. This actor, born Marion Robert Morrison, starred in a number of Hollywood westerns and was nicknamed The Duke. He was known by this stage name. You may know him as John Wayne. This spice, which comes from the flower of the crocus sativus, is the costliest spice by weight. Francis of Portsmouth. Saffron. That's correct. This TV sitcom told the story of Samantha the Witch and her mortal husband, Darren. That sitcom was Bewitched. This colorless, odorless, tasteless noble gas has an atomic number of 36 and shares a name with the planet Superman was born on. Francis of Portsmouth. Krypton. Yes. While the British monarch is the supreme governor of the Church of England, this, the person in this position is the senior bishop. Francis of Portsmouth. Prime Minister. Sorry, no. Nope. Austin of Londonderry. Archbishop of Canterbury. That is right. In the 1984 Summer Olympics in Los Angeles, the United States won 83 gold medals. How many gold medals did the Soviet Union take home? Francis of Portsmouth. Zero. Zero, because they boycotted the games. This warm Atlantic Ocean current begins in the Gulf of Mexico and impacts climate and weather from Florida to Newfoundland. Xander of Londonderry. The Gulf Stream. That's right. This NBA team is tied with the Lakers with 17 NBA championships. Francis of Portsmouth. The Celtics. The Boston Celtics. You got it. Teams, what is the surname of the 16th century Flemish artists Peter the Elder, Peter the Younger, and Jan the Elder, or Father? And the surname of all of them is Bruegel. The 1980, in the 1983, this astronaut and physicist became the first American woman in space as a crew member on the Space Shuttle Challenger, where she oversaw operating the robotic arm. Francis of Portsmouth. Krista McAuliffe. Sorry, no. Londonderry? It was Sally Ride. There are over 40 different species of, this neo of these neotropical birds with large and often colorful bills found in the forests from southern Mexico to South America. One of them named Sam is also the mascot for a breakfast cereal. Francis of Portsmouth. Toucan. That's right. This religion originated in the Punjab region of India in the 15th century. Francis of Portsmouth. Sikhism. That is right. This marine biologist and science writer wrote The Sea Around Us in 1951 and Silent Spring in 1962. 
Josie of Portsmouth. Rachel Carson. Correct. The 1889 Johnstown flood in Pennsylvania started with the failure of the South Fork Dam. The flood killed 2,209 people and did millions of dollars in damage. Rescue and relief efforts were led by the American Red Cross under the leadership of this woman, Francis of Portsmouth. Clara Barton. Clara Barton is right. All right, that sound ends round two, and at the end of round two, Portsmouth hanging on to that big lead. All right, teams, we're going to roll into round three, and in round three, our three strikes and you're out round. Each team gets ten questions in a category. We go down the line, give them ten points for each correct response, and a bonus of ten for all correct. Uh, each team also has three passes. We go until three strikes and they're out. Londonderry, we're going to start with you as the team trailing, and Austin is team captain. You get to choose from these categories. Lend a hand, barking up the wrong tree, and top hats. Top hats. Top hats, okay. The answers to the following will all be related to hats. Austin, he hangs around with thing one and thing two. The cat in the hat. Correct. Nathan, this hat will place you in one of four houses at Hogwarts. Pass. Pass. Brendan? The sorting hat. The sorting hat is correct. Xander, this detective is known for his pipe and his deerstalker hat. I don't know. It is Sherlock Holmes. Austin, this already tall president was made even taller with his signature stovepipe hat. Lincoln. Correct. Nathan, this character in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland was a tad insane, probably from the mercury nitrate used in hat making. Mad Hatter. Correct. Brendan, the version of the doctor in Doctor Who, played by Matt Smith, had an affinity for this tasseled type of hat often worn by Shriners. I don't know. It is the Fez hat. Xander, this boy who didn't want to grow up wore a Tyrolean or Alpine hat with a jaunty feather in it. Peter Pan. That is correct. Austin, this actor wore a bowler hat as part of his Little Tramp character's costume. Abbott. It is Charlie Chaplin. That is your third strike and five correct on your three strikes rounds. All right, Portsmouth, we turn to you and Francis as team captain. You can choose from the categories lend a hand or barking up the wrong tree. Go barking up the wrong tree. Barking up the wrong tree it is. The answers to the following will all include the word tree or be related to trees. Francis, this tree with thin white bark became the state tree of New Hampshire in 1947. White birch. Correct. Rio, this 1964 book by Shel Silverstein depicts an unequal relationship between a boy and a plant. The giving tree. Correct. Nick. There are only about 80,000 of these massive trees living on Earth that only grow in the Sierra Nevada mountain range in California. Redwood. S giant sequoia. Josie, Ron Weasley gets dragged down into the root system of this tree in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Swamping Willow. Correct. Francis, this animated series celebrates Halloween every year in its Treehouse of Horror episodes. The Simpsons. Yes. Rio, this arboreal marsupial species is found in rainforests in New Guinea and Queensland, Australia. Koala. It is the tree kangaroo. Nick, you might record your ancestors on one of these. Family tree. Correct. Josie, this 1943 novel by Betty Smith tells the story of a young girl growing up in New York City. Pass. Pass. Francis? Pass. Rio. I do know that. It is a tree grows in Brooklyn. And that is your third strike. Five for you on your three strikes round.
All right, so things stayed even up, but that's okay. We're going to go right into round four where we're going to continue with the 20 point toss up question. But teams, just a reminder, we'll be taking 20 points off for any incorrect responses. So a big swing, Londonderry and Portsmouth, good luck. Let's go. These shiny calcium carbonate objects are made inside the soft tissue of mollusks and can be worn as jewelry. Austin of Londonderry. Pearls. Yes. First developed in the 1970s, this imaging technique uses a combination of x-rays and computers to take images of tissue, bones, and organs in more detail than a regular x-ray can provide. Austin of Londonderry. MRI. Sorry, no. Portsmouth. Josie? Cat scan. A cat scan or a CT scan, yes. Teams, who was the first U.S. president to choose not to run for a third term? Francis of Portsmouth. George Washington. That's right. Over the course of his lifetime, Albert Einstein was a citizen of three countries. Name those countries. Nick of Portsmouth. Germany, America, and Israel. Sorry, no. Austin of Londonderry. Germany, America, Austria. Close. It was Germany, the United States, and Switzerland was the third country. No harm, no foul there. Teams, who was the nursery rhyme character who could eat no fat and who had a wife who could eat no lean? Francis of Portsmouth. Jack Spratt. That is right. This chairman of the Palestine Liberation Organization and Israeli leaders Shimon, Shimon Peres and Yitzhak Rabin were awarded the 1994 Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts to negotiate a peace agreement in the Middle East. Rio of Portsmouth. Yasser Arafat. That is right. Teams, whose signature is the largest on the Declaration of Independence? Austin of Londonderry. Hancock. John Hancock's right. In what month does winter begin in Australia? Austin of Londonderry. June. June is right. This ninth studio album by The Beatles is officially titled The Beatles, but it is more commonly known as this. Nick of Portsmouth. White album. Yes. Eric Thorvaldsen, the explorer who established a settlement in Greenland in 985, is perhaps better known by this colorful name. Francis of Portsmouth. Eric the Red. That's right. There have been two presidents that were members of the Bush family, George W. Bush and his father, George H. W. Bush. What do the H and W stand for in his name? Austin of Londonderry. Herbert Walker. Correct. On March 6, 1857, Chief Justice Roger Taney handed down his decision that a slave was not a citizen but was the property of the master in this famous case. Francis of Portsmouth. Dred Scott. Yes. This Colorado city in the Rocky Mountains takes its name from a deciduous tree found in the area. Francis of Portsmouth. Aspen. That's right. Teams, what is the name of the hook-shaped peninsula in Massachusetts that extends 65 miles into the Atlantic Ocean and ends with the town of Provincetown? Josie of Portsmouth. Martha's Vineyard. Sorry, no. Londonderry, Nathan. Cape Cod. Cape Cod is what we were looking for. This Italian traveler brought back news that China and India had jewels, spices, and other goods Europeans wanted. Francis of Portsmouth. Marco Polo. Correct. <laughs> How many amendments, teams, to the Constitution are in the Bill of Rights? Austin of Londonderry. Ten. There are ten. Right. Author Margaret Wise Brown is perhaps best known to, uh, for this 1947 children's book that has been a favorite bedtime story for generations. Josie of Portsmouth. Good Night Moon. Good Night Moon, yes. Teams, what play was President Lincoln watching when he was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth? That was Our American Cousin. The space race took off on October 4th, 1957, when the Soviet Union launched this satellite, whose name translates to Fellow Traveler. Nick of Portsmouth. Sputnik. Yes. This mathematician and physicist who published his book, Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy, in 1687, was knighted by Queen Anne in 1705. Austin of Londonderry. Newton. Yes. 
This comet, discovered in 1995 by Alan Hale and Thomas Bopp, was bright enough to be visible to the naked eye on clear mornings in 1997. It should be visible to the naked eye again in a couple thousand years, so stick around. Austin of Londonderry. Hale Bopp comet. That's right. In what part of the body will you find a left and right ventricle? Francis of Portsmouth. The heart. The heart is right. Ooh, and that sound ends our game, and with a strong game, Portsmouth is moving on to the Granite State Challenge Finals. Congratulations, Portsmouth, on an excellent game. We will see you next week in London, Derry. Congratulations on making it this far for two really great games, and we hope you had fun, and we had a lot of fun having you guys here. And we hope you had fun at home as well with this match. We do hope you join us next week for the Granite State Challenge Finals when the team from Portsmouth takes on the team from Merrimack High School. That'll do it for us this week. We hope you had fun. I hope you learned a lot because I did as well. We'll see you next week. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire. Safety Insurance. New Hampshire Lottery, D.F. Richard Energy, HRCU, Cognia, and viewers like you. Thank you.